So I've been following the Cyberpunk 2077 story over the last week and a half, and I haven't really gotten involved in talking about the game too much other than a couple of tweets here and there about how things have been progressing. But I got to say, we got to talk about this because this is probably an unprecedented turn of events in video games that I've never seen before. And I just want to illustrate how, how deceitful this is and really just to signal boost this because I think that ultimately game developers, game publishers need to be put on notice for something like this so it doesn't happen again going forward. And look, Cyberpunk 2077 has had a very rough launch. It reviewed very well initially, receiving 90 plus on Metacritic, but it was the PC version of the game only. No console versions were reviewed because no game codes were given out to reviewers to review the game as we know. And since then, when people have been playing the base PS4 and base Xbox One versions of the game, it's been very apparent that these games are not up to scratch. They run at an extremely low level of performance, sometimes as low as 10 frames per second, 15 frames per second. As well as this, there is significant issues with things like texture pop-in, lots of texture streaming, asset issues, and of course, the bugs that have come from the mainline version of the game are also manifested on top of those base console specific issues as well. So not a good look and quite honestly, the game shouldn't have come out in the state that it's in. But this is where things get interesting because on a shareholders call in mid-November, Adam Kaczynski said to shareholders asking about the base PS4 and Xbox One performance that the game runs surprisingly good. And he's quoted as saying this. So he's basically reassuring shareholders that they've got nothing to worry about. The game does run very well on, on all on all platforms and surprisingly good was the quote that he said for the PS4 based version of the game. But what's interesting about this message is that no one in the general public ever got to see video footage of the base PS4 game or the Xbox One game until the game had released. On December the 14th, CD Projekt Red released a press release saying, first of all, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered and in consequence not allowing you to make an informed decision about your purchase we should have paid more attention to making it play better on playstation 4 and xbox one and then they go on to talk about what the roadmap will be over the next few months and offer refunds for people that are not satisfied with the game which i think is a good first step in rectifying this situation but it doesn't it doesn't eliminate the fact that CD Projekt Red clearly are in the wrong here. They clearly have misled the general public into believing that these games were going to run fine. I think the most frustrating part about this whole story is just the lies and deception that have come from CD Projekt Red themselves. They basically came out and told us that the game ran good on base PS4. They, that's what they told shareholders. That's what the media had ran. They ran stories about this in mid-November, suggesting that the game ran surprisingly good, Adam Kaczynski's words. And when the game came out, it was an absolute broken mess on consoles, but they shipped it anyway without showing it to anyone. And it wasn't until the general public found out the hard way just how bad this game really was. And they did this all because they wanted your money at the launch of the game. And it's just unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. I've never seen anything like this before in video games and hopefully we will not see it again. Now, the other thing that I wanna mention, I've heard a lot of people suggest that maybe they shouldn't have released the base PS4 and Xbox One's version of the game. But here's the thing, guys, 41% of those 8 million pre-orders were on console. Now, I don't, I'm not suggesting that all of them were for base PS4 or base Xbox One, but a lot were for console. And that is obviously a significant hit to their bottom line if they omitted those consoles, considering that base Xbox One and base PS4 combined add up to around 150 million consoles worldwide. They knew exactly what they were doing and they knew that this game had to come out on those systems because that is still the largest play base out there. So they released this game as a broken mess and effectively told everyone that it was going to be fine and it's not and now they're left holding the bag and now poor developers have to spend the next three months fixing patching this game going through the QA process effectively crunching on a game that they've been crunching on all year and previous years 
And here we are. You know, no, there's no winners in this situation other than the shareholders and other than the executive team at CD Projekt Red. And it's it's not right. And they definitely need to be called out for this particular behavior because I definitely don't want to see this happen again in video games going forward. And I will be very wary of any company out there that has weird embargo rules going forward in order to garner a high Metacritic score and you know appease a high amount of pre-orders out there but guys i want to hear your take on this let me know in the comments below what do you think about the cyberpunk 2077 mess on consoles am i right am i overreacting i definitely want to hear what you guys have to say especially those people out there that are playing it on base consoles if you're having a good or bad experience right, there's probably some people out there that are running the game on ps4 base and they're happy with it and that's that's great i I am very pleased to hear that, but I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say on this one because I do think it's a very interesting story to cover. Well, guys, we're going to leave it here for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.